Do you remember the 14th? Your birthday. He explained, in one of his initial communications, that he did not find it easy to communicate, adding humorously, I knew how to drive a boat or a car, but I'm hanged if I can get the run of this yet. Later she asked him, Are you with me in the car, boy? Yes, was the reply. Do take care. Why? I am a good driver. Yes. So was I. The month slipped by as one seance followed another. Always Sir Henry and Lady Seagrave held long, intimate conversations. They discussed scores of domestic matters relating to their home, their friends, Sir Henry's father, items that were of no interest to other members of the circle except in the abundance of the proof they provided of identity and that here were two people now completely reunited across the gulf of death. One evening Lady Seagrave asked Red Cloud's permission to bring a friend to the next seance. Although she was careful not to mention the fact, her guest was to be Lord Cottenham, the sixth Earl, an old friend of the Sagraves. Presently Sir Henry spoke, greeting first his wife and then Lord Cottenham. Hello Mark, he said, repeating the name which he always used. There followed a lively conversation between the two, as natural as many others that must have taken place between them before being interrupted by death. Now they even joked about the mechanics of direct voice communication. Can you tell me how to work this thing? said Seagrave, indicating the trumpet. You put your mouth to the hole, I suppose, and talk, Cottenham replied. But tell me first, where is the hole? was the laughing spirit rejoinder. Then in more serious vein he said, I have been afraid for Dee. She's been so sad. But not any more, Cottenham assured him. She's been happier these last few months than at any time since your passing. And you are happier, too, Barbanel interposed, much happier than the first time you returned to us. That is true and it is this that has made me so. I did not want to leave her. We had all our earthly struggles together and just as success came, this happened. I accepted it for myself, but not for her.